A very good morning, Om Shanti to all of listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. And today is 267th day for God is blessing. Let's explore what exactly does Baba have to say or Godfather has to teach us over here. He's reminding us about something which we have forgotten for many, 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 many years. And the relationship between him and us or her and us doesn't matter. Soul is gender neutral, has changed or has become distant. Let's find out what exactly that is. So Baba says into this blessing, may you become free from all types of distress. Now what is the method for that? And make your every action royal by remaining stable in godly pride. Now what is godly pride? We all have different kind of pride. But there is the pride of having wealth, but there is the pride of having physical beauty, but there is the pride of having any kind of status. But what is godly pride? We'll explore that too. So let's get into the explanation part. Baba says, constantly maintain this godly pride. What is that? That I am a child of God, right? First pride is that, that I am a soul, not this body. Even though I've got physical parents, but even they, even the physical parents whom I have, have a God father above them. So if you go to a mosque or if you go to a church or if you go to a mandir, you always say, oh God father. So even your parents, physical parents say, oh God father, that means are they calling out to their grandfather? No, obviously not. They're calling out to the father of the soul, which is common to all of us. Whether we are physical beings of different age, but we are the children as soul of Supreme God father and a soul has no age. So God says, <coughs> constantly maintain this godly pride. I am the light of Bab Dada's eyes. So God's eyes is light. I am also the light of God or Bab Dada means Supreme God Father is Bab, the father. Dada means elder brother. So Adam would be the eldest brother, right? Because Adam is the first creation of God and he is the eldest brother of all of humanity. Or some people call him as the father of all humanity. <coughs> so you see from soul consciousness, he is even my brother and your brother, eldest brother. So Brahma or Adam is our eldest brother, the first creation through whom God creates the golden age world or heaven on earth. Then God says, nothing can get into my eyes or vision. That means nothing impure can get into my eyes or vision if I remember this, that whose child I am, whose light I am. By your maintaining this pride, all different types of distress will automatically finish and no type of complaints will remain. So if you forget, if a child forgets that, what is his God's property? What is his uh, father's, physical father's property? Similarly, then that child will be in distress. He'll be looking here and there. He'll be running elder shelter and he'll be looking for everything possible to maintain stability in the mind. But if that child remembers that I am so-and-so's child, my father is rich, or my father has got links over here, then that child will not have that kind of distress. Similarly over here, when we remember that we are God's children, then what values and what virtues should I use in this particular situation to overcome the stress or overcome the problem in the situation? That is what we'll remember. So godly property over here, God's property is the knowledge, divine knowledge or wisdom and the virtues all the different virtues and qualities of a wise and a character man or a woman is what we learn over here and that's what we're going to use then the distress will automatically go away but if we use negative virtues automatically the stress will increase and there'll be more and more of distress so then god says the more you remain stable in your highest pride the more you will automatically receive respect and your every action will be royal because you'll be using virtues instead of vices. So automatically people will respect us in any dire situation or any kind of bad situation. You acted in the right wise manner as compared to somebody who would have thrown fits, somebody who would have uh, shown everybody else their place or shouted back or screamed or... Uh, manipulated or poked other people around for the wrong reasons 
we souls who are following God Father and we believe that we are the light of his eyes we use virtues and that is what will get us respect now yesterday we had discussed that you know we might be poked back by some people that why didn't you reply back why didn't you just shout back at that person when he was shouting at you and we we realize that we might gain respect a false respect or fame in front of the people who are saying why didn't you reply back but in the eyes of god we'll lose all our respect because we used vice and not a virtue to handle that situation so what do we want here we want to be remembering that we are god's child and we are his light and we have to use the virtues so that we can actually be somebody who is respected in the true sense not the false sense that will be a false respect because somebody might want something in return and their own situation might be getting harder if you don't reply back and they must have done something wrong and they wanted you to fight in their place or something known as shooting over your shoulder and you didn't do so and they were cribbing and crying and hooting and hawing and complaining about why didn't you reply back why didn't you shout back whereas the in truth if there wasn't anything wrong in that situation and there was truth in that situation no manipulation those people would have said use virtues be silent be quiet be tolerant don't worry we are right we don't have to worry about it in the end truth will win so you don't have to fight back you don't have to be brutal or violent or manipulative don't don't do that and that is what it means that every action will be a royal so this is what god wants us to do if you want to know what exactly and how to do that how to face these situation it's very easy to say something like this that when somebody shouting at you you have to be humble and quiet and all but what is the benefit of it what is the benefit for you and me that's what we learn in brahma kumaris the long term benefit not the short term one so i welcome you to attend a class at brahma kumaris and understand what exactly is this knowledge and this wisdom have a blessed day om shanti mm-hmm.